Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or more to depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption by liking and sharing our videos. Now the update. Killing of Igbo protesters, Southeast youth leaders, fumes, accuses Nigerian army of being barbaric, wicked. Yes, the coalition of Southeast youth leaders, Kosil, have said the Nigerian army that killed armless Igbo youths who were protesting and demanding for the unconditional release of Mazen Amdekanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra in Aba other states. They are wicked, barbaric, lawless. Yes. It will recall that youths were protesting at Aba in Yimba City for the continued detention of the leader of the IPOB, Mazen Amdekanu. Yes, they were protesting. Of course, they have the right. They have the liberty within their within their constitutional right to protest, and they were doing that without any weapon, without any you know anything incriminating. No arm. They were just armless, innocent, expressing their displeasure over the continued detention of Mazen Amdekanu in DSS dungeon. Nigerian soldiers swooped on them, shooting directly to protesters, firing, firing life bullets, life bullets on innocent persons. And so, what transpired there is very gory. It's gory, sincerely speaking. Five persons lost their lives on the spot. Able bodied men, youths, the future of the country, the future of Bia France, the Nigerian army are destroying them. This is unacceptable. People have to rise up and condemn this atrocity. What Nigerian army, what they are doing in the southeast is unpardonable. We must say the facts. We must state the obvious. Let's say the truth, no matter who's us is God. Go to northern states. Boko Haram, they are moving freely. Bandits moving freely. What still the Fulani henchmen, the terrorist henchmen, they have been allowed to roam the street freely, untouched, unperturbed. But you look at innocent people who were protesting. You are, you are detaining Mazen Amdekanu, the leader of the South Easterners, the leader of Biafra, to be specifically the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. And people have right to protest. They are protesting without weapon. Nothing, just, you know, expressing themselves. And you said they should bottle up their expression, their grievances, they should bottle it up, they should shut up, they should not do anything. Have you seen that before? So that is what they are doing in the Southeast. They are calling for chaos. Nigerian army. You know, what they are actually cutting is destruction and disaster. It's a direct call to anarchy. Not when these things start happening, they will start pointing accusing fingers. They are trying to bring down this country at all costs. They want to destroy their contraption completely. That is it. Are we stopping them? No. Let them go ahead and destroy it. Let them go ahead. The army is trying to destroy Nigeria. Let them destroy it. Nobody should stop them from destroying Nigeria. Look at what's happening. Look at the level of barbarism. Being orchestrated. Wickedness. Abuse of human rights. Nobody's saying anything. Five youths gone down in Aba yesterday because youth said Court of competent jurisdiction have, have said this young man is free from all frivolous charges. Release him. That's what the youth were saying. There they they, they were many telling the international community to come to their aid. You are at the Supreme Court. Say where you are saying, oh, you have taken the matter to Supreme Court. Since you didn't believe what the appeal court said, you didn't agree. You said you don't, wouldn't release Mazen Amdekano. And you are at the Supreme Court. You are frustrating the effort to release him. The Supreme Court are not sitting. Nothing is happening. Everything is just there. No hearing. 
And so what do you expect people to do? There's no justice. The young man has been denied justice. And you want people to stay calm and quiet in the face of obvious provocation. It's not done anywhere in the world. The people have been provocated to the extreme. They have been bearing it. They have talked in their anger. They have bottled in their grievances. Yet you are provoking them. Now they said, okay, we have nothing to do again. Let's go and demonstrate peacefully. The military swooped down on them. What else do they want from the Biafrans and the people of the Southeast? They should come out open and say it. Let us know what they really want. That they should make their position known now. Yes, seriously speaking, because the way this thing is going, sincerely speaking, Nigeria will see it hot. What they bargain for, they will get it. What the soldiers are looking for, they will get it. The international communities are aware. Go and make your verif verif verifications. In Aba, five persons were killed. And so when these things started happening, they will be saying IPOB did this, IPOB did that. IPOB will never do anything incriminating. IPOB will never kill anybody because they want agitation. IPOB stands for peace and justice. But what we are saying is this. Nobody has monopoly for violence. And people will always defend themselves. Law, you know, is a natural law for people to rise up and defend themselves, defend their humanity, defend their life. Nobody wants to be killed like a chicken. Nobody wants that for himself. That's nature. And when people rise up to defend themselves, said, oh, we will not be allowed to be exterminated. We will not be allowed to, 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 to go into extinction. Genocide, we can't tolerate genocide being upon ourselves for the second time. And they will say the IPOB is killing people. Because the, the people of the South is felt like, look, let us defend ourselves. All right. They, they have not even done that. And they are saying IPOB is killing people. IPOB is not killing people. Good thing, the GTI have delisted it, have removed IPOB from the terrorist organization that they once placed it just two weeks. It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't last up to two weeks. They, delete, they deleted it because they knew that this thing was a blackmail. Cheap propaganda against an innocent group that are mainly looking for you know, self-determination. Okay. So, that is the point. You have to rise up to this occasion. You have to be prepared because they want to kill us, all of us. Nigerian soldiers want to kill all the Igbos. And we won't allow them to kill all of us. We must rise and defend our humanity, defend ourselves, defend our children, defend our community. We are telling the international community to warn Nigerian government and their security agents to stop 